hard to hear from the Mockler local and was up Catholic with just way too much for this immaculate team, which had a really nice run in the NJSIAA non-public North B tournament, but just couldn't get it done. Lose 92 to 63, and really this game, um, you know, they, they fell down early, uh, turned the ball over too much, struggled to get shots, and it, and they never really recovered. Um, you know, talking to Coach Jimmy K Salmon afterwards, he said, you know, Jalen Carey, Rizal was very smart in putting them in, putting a small guy on Carey, frustrating him, and once he got frustrated, you know, everybody looks to him, the rest of the team got a little frustrated and never really got their rhythm going. I mean, you're also looking at a situation where this Roselle Catholic team is long, is big, and, and, and Salmon said, listen, we haven't had to face length like this. We're usually out lengthening other people, not the reverse, and so they struggled there a little bit today. Salmon said, you know, a little disappointed with the outcome of the game, but a very nice run, and, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, they, the guys played hard. Uh, they didn't achieve what maybe Salmon and company thought they could. Maybe the fans thought they could, but, you know, they played as well as they could, and, uh, and at the end of the day, it just wasn't enough. Um, you know, a bunch of seniors leaving, and, of course, Jalen Carey, Justin Winston, the two biggest guys. Winston's going to be going to a preparatory school, and then off to college. Carey, of course, goes to Syracuse. And uh, Salmon said, you know, we can't thank those guys enough for doing for this program what they've done, putting us on the map. And I would say that also these wins against Hudson Catholic and a win against uh, the Patrick School, if Immaculate comes out next season and plays like they did at the end of this season, well, people are going to know Immaculate's on the map, period. You can get my full breakdown of the story on Thursday in the print edition and online at MocklerLocal.news. For the Mockler Local, this is Andrew Garda. Have yourself a great weekend.